me again. Me and my shitty webcam. So, I'm bored today, so I just decided to do some tutorials because that's what I like doing when I have nothing else to do. I like watching makeup tutorials, so I thought I'd make some on my own. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Girls like to share shit like that. Anyways, <clears throat> before you come to your nose, okay, first thing. A lot of ethnic people like to contour the nose because our nose kind of, our noses tend to be kind of round. It's cute, but sometimes you just want to be a little more defined and more sharper, more sexier. Anyways, clean your nose first. It's very important. Important. My English is off fucking back today because I'm just so lazy. I can't even talk right like that. Up. Okay, Bure astringent, the best astringent ever. Triple action. It's supposed to cleanse, tighten your pores, and clear your blemishes. Okay, so anyways, I that my compad, and I wipe my nose down to get all that gunk off. Yeah, nice, nice dirt. Alright, so, I get all the, it's really important when your nose contouring, um, You've got to get all the dead skin cells off because if you contour your nose when you've got like shit like all stuck on your nose, it's not going to be even, it's going to look really actually kind of fucking nasty actually. Yeah. Okay. Really rubbing down my nose. Alright. Okay. It's easier to use a uh, cream foundation rather than a powder when, when you're contouring your nose. You can dust it with powder afterwards. So, yeah, one second. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Alright. Okay. I like to use MAC Full Coverage in C4 or C NC35. This is for when I'm pale for the winter. When I get tanned, it's more like C40. So I use this little cute um, foundation brush and we we'll just get it. go over our nose. That's a good if you can get a good sponge, but the problem is it's hard to find good quality makeup sponges. So I get the really spongy type, the ones that, how to explain, they're kind of more rubbery, you know? You only can tell until you actually use it and you apply it to your face and you realize if it's good quality or bad quality. But luckily I found very good quality makeup sponges at the dollar store. Yeah, useless, but whatever. Okay, so we've uh, foundationed our nose like this. See? See? Cute small round button. I don't want to be cute small round button nose. I want to have a edgy, sexy, sexy nose. So, <laughs> we're going to take like a brush that's kind of wide and then just thin this way, you know, I don't even know the name for it. And you can use, you don't have to buy contouring powder, that's just a fucking marketing scam. I use eyeshadow, believe it or not, or bronzer, but, but bronzer is more of like a glistening look and eyeshadow is more of like a matte look, but whatever. Saddle or cork is actually cool to be the dark. If you're darker, cork. If you're a bit lighter, which I am right now, saddle, saddle matte eyeshadow from MAC. Looks like this. <clears throat> it's good for, in the video I'm, I'm actually a lot whiter than I am in uh, reality. I have more of a, because it's overexposed, the window light and whatever. So if you're like a, a honey, light, golden brown color, like I'm Asian Hispanic, I've got that kind of like golden light brown tone to me and I'm fair right now. Saddle is very good to use. Okay, so you're gonna dust it like this, like that. And when you're contouring your nose, yeah, you have to start from the inner eye, like that. Kind of like 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 there. Where your where your eyebrow, the edge of your eyebrow starts and you're going to go all the way down. Create two lines first. 
on each side. Do you see? Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. Like this. Stroke it. You can even use little strokes, you know, to kind of blend it in. See already, you can see it happening. And then at the ball of your nose, you're going to kind of create like a horseshoe, like this. And then pooch it, like poop, right at the tip, like right there, like under your nose, like this. Shadow it. It makes your nose look a little pointier, I guess. Uh, need all your racial bullshit either, trying to look white, whatever. We live in a very Europeanized beauty um, influence world. And yes, it is nice to have a pointy, defined nose, and that's the way we've been brainwashed. <laughs> Hell, it looks good, okay? Cute, small, like, I like my nose, but not when I'm going out clubbing, you know? <laughs> and it's true. It's a little western appearance. I'm not trying to be white, but it is a westernized feature and it's all drilled into our heads. Hey, I live in North America. That's the fucking culture. Get used to it. Here we go. Ooh, pointy, sexy. Ooh. Anyone can do it. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yeah, so all you ethnic people out there, or even white people with pug nose, right? <laughs> there we go, there we go. Video's not so great, lighting's shit. It looks a lot better in uh, the, the normal light. The video's really overexposed. But here we go. And then um, to blend it in more, you can just get your powder brush and like dust it everywhere you know and um, but that's roughly how it is you can just like blend it in more you know but there we go Ta -da. 